Good evening, everybody. Come on in. Guess who's in the kitchen again? That beautiful young lady right there is here in North Carolina. She used to live in Florida. This is my niece, Savannah Roberts. Remember that cutie I showed y'all about two weeks ago, DeAnthony? Well, this is his baby girl. So she's here to help me to cook. She's been trying to get to North Carolina to help me cook for the longest time. So now she's here and we're going to be doing some. What are we cooking today, Savannah? Cooking chicken salad. Right, chicken salad. So she's going to help me, and we're going to put this chicken salad together. It's not going to take long, so hold on just a minute, and we'll get ready to get started. Before we get started, let me just say this. You know me. I already did a couple things ahead of time. I took the chicken off. The, the chicken off. I took the chicken off of the bone for, for, let me see, a chicken and a half. The rest of it, I put some barbecue sauce on it. I've got my mayo standing by brown sugar, some uh, pickle relish, and some um, bell peppers and onions that I put in the Ninja and chopped it up ahead of time. So what we're going to do is finish chopping up the chicken, and then we're just going to put everything together. And so while we work, you can watch us, okay? So, Savannah, what we're going to do now, uh, I'm going to see. If you know how she's out, I had her, I told her, the first thing a cook does is make sure she has clean hands and clean utensils. So these are my cooking shears. And what I'm doing with these shears, Savannah, I'm just, see how you do that? I'm going to let you uh, get into the part where we do the um, the mix. And I don't think I'm going to let her bother with these scissors right now. But anyway, this is just a quick way to chop that chicken up and get it going for some good old chicken salad. Do you see that phone, Savannah? Oh, where did it go? Oh, right there on the thing right there. Just yeah. uh, hit that red button so that little chirping sound will quit. But anyway, it doesn't take long. You know, you know my phone's always doing stuff when it's not supposed to. Those children will call me in spite of faith. But uh, the main thing, though, is just to get that chicken all chopped up. You can use a knife or you can use these scissors. So what I'm going to do here, for the most part, is just use the scissors. Then I'm going to take my spatula and chop in. I had a bone in there. So, Savannah, make sure no bones is in there, okay, when you're doing the chicken. Uh, this is, uh, of course, you know, I buy these uh, rotisserie chickens from Sam's Club, and they are really tasty. There's not a lot of seasoning you have to do except to get the other ingredients. So, the chicken salad is something that we're going to have just a nice light meal tonight. My sister is here. Now, my sister is Savannah's uh, grandmother. Her name is Eva. And her husband is here, and her mommy is here. Mommy is expecting. So, Savannah, what, what do you want mommy to have? Um, a baby boy. Savannah's hoping for a baby brother. So, Savannah has a sister named Kayla. Try to get Kayla to come. So, maybe, when, well, we'll be doing a lot of cooking while they're here. So, maybe the next time that I cook something, maybe Kayla will come and uh, cook with us. She don't want to cook with us today. Um... They've been on the road too for a while. Were y'all, did you get really tired? Or did you sleep a lot while y'all were traveling? Yeah. Okay, so there, uh, Kayla's probably still a little bit tired. Mom, I know mom is because mom was driving. They were in three different vehicles. Isn't that something? Yeah. So that was a long from all the way from Florida to North Carolina. That's a pretty good little uh, haul. So my nephew, I'm so excited that my nephew, DeAnthony, is going to be in the area so that means his mom is going to be here so we're going to have some fam some blood family other than just just the howl clan up this way okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to take my spatula because i like my chicken salad sort of chunky it's nice and tender so the chop you want to try that just do it do it just hold it like that and just chop it real real yeah, this is a future chef right here. See, she ain't scared. She ain't scared, y'all. She's chopping that chicken. Yeah, she's a natural on the camera. You see that? It's in the bloodline, y'all. It's in the bloodline. You're doing a good job, Savannah. I'll hold it for you. See, this is what you have to do with our young kids. Now, some kids like to do this stuff, some don't. Savannah apparently likes to do it because... Um, when I first started my channel, we had talked about her cooking. This has been, what, two years ago. So she finally got here, and now she is working. She is working. 
Y'all, this chicken smells so good. Sam's Club makes the best rotisserie chicken that I've ever put my mouth on. I'm here to tell y'all. And, of course, we don't have to put any salt in it because it's already fully seasoned, seasoned rather, with that a rotisserie chicken. And we're just going to do some uh, chicken salad sandwiches or some, some of this salad on lettuce leaves. Okay, let me just take a little trip through there and see. I believe it's just about ready to get the rest of the ingredients. And you see how simple this is to do? A little girl. Now, Kayla, t I'm sorry, Savannah, how old are you? Um, seven. A seven-year-old can do this, so you know you can do it, guys. Because my mom been teaching me how to cook a lot. Really? So you're going to see her a lot because they're going to be coming down to visit. And I'm going to be going up to visit them. And so I might even do some, cook something, go up to their house and cook. So this is, gonna, this is my new helper, y'all. I finally got me a sous chef. Finally got me a live sous chef. I don't have to be my own sous chef no more whenever uh, Savannah is, is around. Isn't Savannah just a beautiful name, y'all? Don't y'all love that name? And she is just such a pretty little girl, too. They're out for the summer. And uh, they're just moving up this way. Her daddy's in the army, so he's uh, moved his family up here. I'm so proud of that young man. I was saying I can remember when he came and stayed with me one summer when he was five years old. So I've always been in his life um, to help to watch him grow. And I'm just so proud of him. He has a beautiful family, two beautiful girls, one one. Um, little boy we're gonna say one little boy on the way and a beautiful beautiful wife and of course his mom and father they're all one big happy family okay so now savannah we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna let you do the honors i'm gonna show you how to do it you just take this like this we're getting ready now y'all to put in the uh bell pepper and celery so go ahead and put your bell peppers and celery just turn it Turn it up like that. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to let you do that. Okay. Oh, she does well. She has a good control of, over her uh, motor skills. Her motor skills are wonderful. So that's what it takes. You know, it takes uh, concentration. She's not shy about it. And that's what, I'm gonna, what I talk to you all about all the time. You have to be confident when you're cooking. And you have to uh, you get, just get a feel for it. And, you know, after she gets comfortable with this, after a while, honey, she'll come here and do just like me and sling it right on over in there and get it done. Okay? Right. Okay. She's going to get it out of there. Okay. You want to try this spoon and see if that spoon will do a little bit better than that. And if you notice... Um, She's very patient with this. And she's only seven now. Smart kid. Smart kid. And that's what we want to do. We want to be able to teach our kids and take the time with them to let them do what we're trying to teach them to do versus rushing them. Because you have to get a feel for cooking. Like I say, you have to feel cooking. You have to smell it. You have to see it. And you have to taste it. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, I'll take that for you. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to go ahead and put in there, I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to do some pickles. Just take the pickles sort of like that, and we're going to put about a, a couple spoons of those pickles in there. So I'm going to let you do it. Try to drain a little bit of that juice off of there. There you go. Okay. And do another couple more in there, and then we'll have the pickles. While you do that, I'm going to step away and get the black pepper. Okay, so she got the pickles in. The next thing, we're going to take that same spoon, and we're going to do uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar. So you can go ahead and put your brown sugar in there. And we're going to start with the one tablespoon full, and if it's not, we'll taste it, and if it's not enough, we'll put a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to do this because I want you to get it. I'm going to just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle about a half a teaspoon of black pepper into there. Okay. Got that going. And now we're going to start out with a cup of mayo. So there's about two cups in here. So what we're going to do, Savannah, is just like this. 
I'm gonna see, see if you can get it out. And once you can figure out how to get it out, then just put it right in there. Okay. Just pull it right. Let's see. Put, yeah, there you go. There you go. She got it. Okay. Put a big old another. See if you can get a big old glob in there. There, there we go. There. This child knows what she's doing. I believe you already a chef uh, in another life somewhere, uh, Savannah. Let, we, let's get one more glob because we want at least a, a cup of it in there to start with. And if we have to put more, we can do more, okay? Yeah, just get it coming on. Get enough but just um, that, that little bit that's trying to hold out on the back there. Just get it coming on out of there. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay. Let me have that over here. I'll take that off your hands. Okay. And we just, y'all know me, I'm extra. I'm going to go in there and do one for the road. How about one for the road? That's for the road. Savannah, we, that's for the road. Okay, so now we've got all of our ingredients successfully into the bowl. Now we're going to start the mixing process. And what we're going to do... I'm going to show me just give you a little show here. I think we're going to have to put a little bit more mayo. And then all we got to do from this point forward is go ahead and try to mix it up. So just don't have to mix it fast or hard or anything. Just start mixing. And I think we might have to get another kind of a spoon going. There you go. I think we're going to need a little bit more mayo. Because like I said, I'm thinking we need at least about uh, two cups. Okay. That ought to be two cups right there. I'll tell you, my little sous chef is really awesome. Isn't she doing a great job, y'all? I want to hear from y'all in the comment section and to let uh, Savannah know baby girl is not shy at all. She's getting it in. She's getting it done. Okay. Very good. Okay. I'll give it a... You can rinse your hands off over there if you want to, baby. Now, this child has done tremendous. Because most kids, you know, kind of shy away or walk away. But I think um, she was so focused. I think she's going to be okay in the kitchen. So, I know now, when she comes over, yeah, she's going to be my sous chef. She's going to be my sous chef. And what we're going to do next, we're going to just get everything mixed in. Then we're going to taste of it to make sure whether or not we need any more... Um, you can use that towel what I put right there to make sure whether we or not we need any more of a um, little bit more sugar in there because I only put one teaspoon, one tablespoon rather. And remember, this is a chicken and a half, two large stalks of celery. There's a bone. There's a bone. Okay, put that right there. Um two large stalks of celery and one half of a large green pepper a half a teaspoon of um, black pepper and about a tablespoon of pickle relish and that's all there is we got chicken salad y'all what we're going to do now is go ahead and taste of it and see savannah see that first drawer right there baby bring me a fork and we're going to taste and see what it tastes like see if we need to add anything else to it I mean, I'm so excited to have somebody. Because this, this reminds me of when I was a little girl. And I used to hang in the kitchen with my mother and my grandmother. Okay. What I'm going to let you do, open your hand just like that. I want you to taste. And you tell me what you think. And I'm going to taste and see what I think. I think it needs to rest that brown sugar. What do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We agreed on that. So, you say... What you say, Kate, uh, um, Savannah? I think we need a little bit more brown sugar. Right. See, what I tell y'all about the brown sugar is a winner. You can go ahead, go ahead and do the um, go ahead and put it in. Just dump all of it. There we go. There's a little bit more. There it is. There it is. So we got the brown sugar going in this. Cause I already know I can hear Tansy saying, "Now, Mama, where is the sugar?" So now there it is. There's the sugar. So, y'all, for all practical purposes, Savannah 
is now officially my sous chef. She is my kitchen helper. She is my beautiful niece. She is my, she's the bestest chef. We're just going to go and give her the chef title. We're going to have to find her a little chef jacket somewhere or, and an apron too. That's what I got to get her is an apron. We, got, we have to have our apron to keep our clothes from getting this. Okay, we're going to taste it again. Okay. Let me chop that up a little bit. Okay. We're going to taste it again. Let's see if we need any more sugar. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that chicken salad is ready. I may have to dump a little tiny more. You know what? Let me tell you something about adding things to uh, dishes. When my salad initially, initially tasted that, it was okay. But then, on second thought, I think we need a little bit more of brown sugar. So, what do you think, Savannah? You think we can put just a little touch more? Yeah. Okay. Just, we're going to get us a little bit more. So, just hang on one second, and I'll be right back. Okay, listen, I'm going to... Okay, y'all. There it is. That's the chicken salad made by my new sous chef, Savannah. We've taste tested. It's wonderful. We've yes, indeed, and we fixed the plate up. And Mc and uh, Savannah, I'm getting ready to say Michaela. Michaela don't want to get video yet. Maybe when I cook something tomorrow, Michaela will come and uh, join us. Mm -hmm. But for today, Savannah and I have successfully made this chicken salad. She is now officially. My, look, at, she is such a natural, y'all, so she's ready to uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this plate of chicken salad. And we've added some apples and some strawberries to it, and that's going to be a yum, yum, yummy, a nice, light dinner meal for Michaela. So, Michaela, thank you so much for agreeing to uh, cook. It's always nice to have a guest chef in the house. So, my new sous chef is Miss uh, Savannah Roberts. So you want to say bye to the audience? Now, what I always say to my audience, once I get done cooking, I always thank them. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, for helping me to cook this meal, and for watching uh, Savannah help me cook. And listen, y'all, continue to pray for your sisters and brothers around the world. And listen, like I always say, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And my trademark goodbye is say, toodaloo. Toodaloo. See you guys later. All right, she's a good one. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>